Hello everyone. Welcome to Century Farmhouse. Welcome to my kitchen here at Century Farmhouse. I'm Anne-Marie Craig and this beautiful house has been in my family since 1884, about 135, 36 years and I'm cooking in the same kitchen that my grandmother did, that my great-grandmother did, and that my mom did when she was growing up. And um, I want to invite you in today, grab a cup of tea, pull up a chair, and let's talk a little bit about some um, flavored butters, some things we can make to make some of your meals coming up a little bit more special. So we have Easter coming up, Passover, Mother's Day, um, and maybe just a, a chance for our family to get together in a little bit um, more special way. And a flavored butter is a great way to add to the to um, just the specialness of a meal, even if it's um, just the only tiny touch that you do. So let's get started. I'm gonna fix the camera here. Let's take a minute, a second, hopefully. There we go. And move the camera so you can see what I'm going to be doing. Now I'm starting with, this is a half a stick of butter or about a quarter of a cup of butter, and I've softened it. You don't want to melt it because melting it will have, as it cools, will have it create kind of a bubbly finish. It won't look quite as nice. So we're going to work with it softened. I'm just gonna soften it up. Now, let's talk a little bit about what you can add to this butter or cream cheese if that's what you're using. We can use herbs, and that's what we most often think of as herbed butter. So you can use fresh herbs such as um, rosemary. I have chives from my garden here in Wisconsin. Not much is growing yet in gardens, but I do have some teeny tiny little chives that have a very strong flavor. I can actually smell them just by touching them. Um, you can add maple syrup or honey, and we'll be doing both of those things today. Cinnamon, a honey cinnamon uh, butter is amazing. You can add citrus, citrus peel, citrus juice. Um, I also have some dried currants that are soaking in whiskey vanilla and we're going to be making um, a honey cinnamon whiskey vanilla uh, butter with um, those currants in it. And you can even add a little herb to that as well to add a little bit more uh, flavor along the way. So anything that you have in your pantry that you can think of to add, um, perhaps you're doing an Italian meal, but you want to have um, a, a bread, maybe not made as a garlic bread, but you could use spice mixes that are um, with the Italian spices, the peppers and fennel and that kind of thing in. Um, you can use taco mixes to make your butter a little bit, have a little bit more of that um, Mexican, Hispanic flavor. You can um, uh, just go citrus uh, and just make a citrus butter or citrus honey butter. Play with what's in your kitchen, match it to perhaps what you're making for dinner, and you'll have an amazing um, addition to the meal that you're making. Um, you also can use these butters, by the way. Um, let's say you're gonna fry up breakfast eggs and you have a little bit of rosemary butter left over. I did that this morning. I had rosemary maple syrup butter, and I popped a little in the pan to fry up some potatoes, and the, they were absolutely delicious. So you can use them not just as a spread for bread, but also in other ways as well. So we're going to get started with this. This is actually going to be um, the sweet honey and um, uh, currant butter. So I'm going to take a little bit of honey first. This is not warmed honey, I want it to be raw. And so I'm gonna add a little bit of that. This is straight from the hives, honey. And I'm adding probably about, this is a, a, a half a stick, a quarter cup of butter. I'm adding about a teaspoon of honey to that. And then the whiskey vanilla uh, soaked currants. And the currants will also, if you don't want to soak them, they will also pick up flavor, uh, moisture um, from the butter itself. So you don't actually need to soak them in anything if you don't want to. I'm also gonna add a little bit of that vanilla, whiskey vanilla to my butter. Yes, it will soften it a little bit, but you will refrigerate or freeze this anyway for a short time. And when you refrigerate it and get it cold, it will harden right back up again. Now this is a whiskey vanilla butter with honey and currants. And to that, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of rosemary. When you add, when you use fresh herbs like this, you can, um, snap them apart or you can chop them. They will give a little bit more of a green color uh, to your 
uh, butter and it will be a more subtle flavor. If you want to, you can use dried herbs as well, but the dried herbs will not be quite as green and you don't need quite as much because of course they have a stronger uh, flavor. Okay, so this, see how fast that, that came together? It's so simple. It's just a matter of softening the butter and mixing in some um, fun ingredients, something that will complement what you're making for dinner. Now, this would be fabulous on biscuits or pancakes. It would be fabulous um, spread on a banana bread. I would even have no problem um, doing this, using this in a pan with um, fried potatoes, even with the currants. That little bit of sweet, add some onion and garlic to it, will um, just have an amazing flavor. Don't be afraid to mix flavors either. Okay, so that's this butter. I'm going to set this aside. We'll start another one. All right, so this butter is going to go more savory, although I'm going to use maple syrup in it. Here at Century Farmhouse, we do tap our trees and make um, some very delicious maple syrup just for ourselves. We don't sell it, but um, having that maple syrup on hand is fabulous for flavoring things. I am planning, for example, for Easter, to do a maple syrup glaze on the ham that I'm going to be making. And we're going to have roasted peaches with that and roasted vegetables and a fresh salad. And then we're going to make ice cream, our own ice cream for dessert because we decided that would be a fun thing to do. But this maple butter, and it will be a maple chive butter, will be amazing on the biscuits that we make. And I can also maybe use a little bit of that in the glaze I'm going to do on my ham. So these are the chives I picked from the garden. I'm actually going to just pinch them apart and add them. And by squeezing them a little bit, you'll also release a little bit more flavor. So I'm not just chopping them, I'm squeezing them a little bit as I uh, chop, break them apart in my hands. You're going to add probably the equivalent of about a teaspoon or so. This might be a little bit more than that. Um, but you're really going to do it to taste. If your family doesn't like strong herb flavors, you won't put in quite as much, but it does make a very beautiful butter. Okay, I'm gonna mix that together. It has maple syrup and chive. And to that, I would like to add just a little bit of citrus. So I would like to actually grate a little bit of lemon peel into it. And I'm going to do that just a little bit, maybe the equivalent of about a quarter of a teaspoon. That adds a little bit of interest in color. And because it's the peel, you'll also get that citrus flavor. There we go. Isn't that simple? Just took a little bit to put this together and it will taste amazing. It'll be absolutely beautiful on the table. All right, so now what do you do with it? It's all mixed up. How do we um, display this, serve it? Uh, and make it look beautiful on the table. So one thing you can do is actually, ju actually just spoon it over into a bowl, a little bowl like this. And I do need to say, by the way, I have these beautiful pieces of pottery. These are made by Heather Lane Pottery in Ada, Michigan, outside of Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I also am using beautiful pottery, Cornishware pottery from England, um, made by the TG Green Corn Cornishware Company. So I have some beautiful pieces here I'm using and I, I didn't want to forget to say that because they are very, very lovely and small businesses that really um, do a, a beautiful job. So I have placed some butter in a little dish. This can be a serving dish. You can also create a small log or a large log of butter and just serve the rustic logs or you can take those logs and cut them up. Let's do that right here cut them up into small pieces. They could even be kind of unevenly put in there. Take the small piece and a small piece of parchment paper, like a butter pat, right? And fold it up, roll it up, and twist the ends like it's a piece of candy. And it is really a beautiful treat. And then put them in a bowl, serve them this way. First of all, they'll keep in your refrigerator nicely because they're covered. But secondly, this beautiful bowl can go right to the table and everyone will have a little butter pat uh, wrapped up. That's actually kind of a special thing to have at your table to serve. 
the other thing you can do with um, the, the butter, I'm gonna take this one. I need 12 hands. Here we go. Is you can take the butter and put it into a mold. Now this mold, you don't have to have this kind of mold. It might be a candy mold that you have. It might be another small dish that's quite interesting looking. But this is actually a gelatin mold from the 1950s, I believe. My dad used to work uh, for a company that made these, so we have a, a lot of these kind of hanging around in the family. So you take the butter and you put it right in that mold. And you wanna put it in, push it in so that there aren't any air bubbles in there and spread it flat, just like this. You might find it easier to work with a knife. You get this nice and flat and even, as well as you can. And then this you'll put in the freezer for a little bit uh, to get it hard. And then to, to take it out, you'll just press the edges, or however you would do it with your candy mold, and pop it out. And this is an example of what that would look like. And just display it on, again, this could be a communal butter pat that everyone kind of takes a piece off of, but it's very pretty in the way it's displayed. So these are just some, a few ideas, some ideas that you can use to create um, some uh, flavored butters, some pretty butters that you can use at your table. And I hope you take the time to be creative with whatever you have in your kitchen. Take care, I'm so glad you joined me. And we'll do this again. Bye.